Hi everybody, we're looking today at the last of three homes that we're building on the C row in Edison Mobile Estates. This is at lot C19. Edison Mobile Estates is located at 852 US Highway 1. Here's Route 1 as the house arrives. This was just January 26. So it was a, a very, very cold day, very dark and dreary, but we were all on hand. Everybody that works um, for Edison Mobile Estates was of there and we greeted Ron as he arrived. This house is a champion home uh, from the Redmond Homes Division. Champion Homes is sold on the New York Stock Exchange and has uh, manufacturing facilities all across the country. And ours comes from Ephrata, Pennsylvania. It's in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. There's the follow-up car and there's Raul and he's um, running to help out. There's some of the guys, Robert, uh, the managing partner and Xander, the architect, who is our project um, designer and he takes a look at all the lots and sees what will fit with all the setbacks. So here the house is in front of the empty lot. So we'll go take a look of what the lot looks like before the house actually gets placed on it. That's the um, follow-up car driver. That's Roger. And here you see the pad, the concrete pad and the piers. Here's the whole crew. Um, there's a, as you can imagine, a lot of joking around as everybody gets ready to do the work. So you've got Patrick and Ron and Conception and Raul. There's the lot. Here's C18. C19 is behind there on the other side street until they figure out what they're doing. Here they're coming around and I'll speed up the video a little so you can see a little bit fast forward. Um, they were negotiating which way was the best way to back the house up and Ron decided to do it in this angle. So everyone um, positions themselves so that Ron can see hand signals so that we don't hit any curbs or um, homes or sheds or whatever's in the way. So here I am kind of positioning myself so I don't get fall off the uh, pad because I'm going to be walking backwards. Patrick's showing him how to move. Patrick is our construction foreman. He's been doing this for over 30 years and there's Raul and um, they have to protect the bottom of the house from this curb so they reposition whatever they have on hand to help out with um, anything that's a step. So he's going to end up going over that curb and they position the wood to protect on either end. And then they have to make sure the angle of the house fits between one row and the other. What you don't hear is all the sounds that they make telling Ron to stop or turn or whatever. There's a lot of um, commotion going on, to say the least. So they have to do the angle in this direction as they guide the house beyond uh, the front end where there's already a house positioned. And then they'll reposition and turn it again and again. So here you see the concrete pad and you'll see those circular parts are the concrete piers. That's what the house sits on. Um, and that goes beyond the frost line to keep the house from heaving. If there's ever any shift in the earth when there's uh, frost or cold any freezing temperatures affect the foundation. So we go beyond that to protect the house. And then the slab is around those piers and then next to it on the right is the concrete patio. And you can see at C18, the custom built uh, steps, the central air conditioning and um, the gutters, the Anderson storm doors. Here I'm going around the other side so you can get a better angle. 
and they're trying to decide whether they're going to continue using the truck or switch over to the Bobcat. So here's our great team. This house is two bedrooms, two bath. It's a HUD construction. We follow the federal government's HUD code. And um, there's, uh, I've been told there's 27 checkpoints in the manufacturing facility as the house is being built that gets checked to make sure everything is done according to the HUD code. And then we have a final inspection on the property after the house is um, totally constructed and they, the HUD inspector comes out and looks at the house to make sure that we do all the sewer, water, electricity connections correctly. This house is approximately 827 square feet. It's uh, 14 by 62. And this should be um, available in about a month's time, barring any snowstorms. And um, we have white uh, drywall in the impact areas, which is the kitchen and living room. And then you've got um, textured paper in the bathrooms, closets, and bedrooms, and they're all water resistant. You've got glass tile in the kitchen and stainless steel appliances from Whirlpool. It's got a programmable thermostat, high energy efficient central heating, central air conditioning, as I mentioned. The gas furnace is 60 BTU. Uh, the cabinets are wood and they're painted gray with the newest color from Redmond. We've got a 40 gallon electric hot water heater. Um, I'm reading a little bit from the description to give you an idea of this house. So what's needed to finance a manufactured home? You need 10% down payment. It cannot be a loan. Sometimes they request 20% depending on your income and you have to have a credit score of 650 or better and no more than 43% debt to income ratio. This is um, a law that mandates that you can afford to live there and still have money for food and utilities and other necessities. So actually by law we can't sell you a house that you can't afford. So this is um, January 28th. I came back to the house because it was too cold the day we were there. And it's, um, I'm going to give you a tour and video of the inside of the house. So this is the angle. It's a nice sunny lot. There's your concrete patio. And then I'm going to hop inside. The steps haven't been built yet, so now we're going to take a look inside. So we're in the living room, and there you see the living room fan and the coat closet and the kitchen. Those are thermal pane windows, and this house came with these cute little valances. That's the front door with the little starburst on top. That's the cable um, wall that you could put your television up on. So the cable has comes in the living room and the two bedrooms. So I'm showing you the house just as it arrived. Um, there's the wire rack for the coat closet. All the straps are to keep the appliances safe during the travel going 60 miles per hour on the highway. Many of the appliances are protected with plastic. So you'll see them covered. We'll eventually take all those off as we work on the house. The whole house is vinyl flooring. A lot of people don't like carpeting anymore. Um, there's the glass backsplash. It's called Pearl, but it's uh, a really light blue. It's very pretty and it goes great with the gray cabinets. Here I can let you into the dishwasher because this is still accessible. All the appliances are new and 
have warranties. There's another card with um, the description for the year two through seven warranty. So we have the warranties for each appliance, the warranty first year, and then year two through seven. Here you see the adjustable shelves in the kitchen cabinets. Now I would certainly lower that one. There's a gooseneck faucet, the microwave, the stove oven combination, the refrigerator, a really pretty kitchen and it's got lots of cabinet space and even that extra pantry on the end here you have your 100 amp uh, electric panel here's a little area for uh, bench shelving whatever you want to put there here's your programmable thermostat this will run your heat and your air conditioning this area is for your laundry machine the manufacturer has never supplied uh, dryers and washers, so um, it's pretty easy for people to acquire that themselves. As you'll see, all the doors are shrink-wrapped to protect them during transportation. Here you see the first bathroom, and this is a one-piece fiberglass uh, shower stall with two seats. Eventually, we'll add the glass bypass doors, the commode, the vanity, the framed mirror, the little window, all the um, lights are LED and we'll have to put up the um, sconces for those glass balls, bulbs, and um, that'll all happen as time progresses. Here you see that the closet door is protected from moving during travel. This is the first bedroom in the back of the house. I believe it's a little bit bigger than the one in the front. There is a floor plan in this video, so you can take a look at that. Inside the closet, it's a wire rack and the um, bypass for the water to turn it off, the shut off for the water, I should say. In the back corner is um, the data plate, is what we call it. And here you have your serial number and um, the certification for where the house was built, which is Region 3 for New Jersey. That um, And it also shows you the Energy Star certified certification. So behind the bedroom door is the hot water heater. Again, this has uh, a warranty. This is a heavy fireproof door. Again, your laundry area and then walking through the kitchen and the eating area, you could put a table there. You walk through the living room past the front door and to the second part of the house, which is another bathroom and another bedroom and the furnace. Here is your second bathroom, and this one has your one-piece fiberglass tub. Whenever we have a house with two bedrooms and two baths, we try to do one bathroom as a shower stall and one as a bathtub. your little towel rack and your commode, your vanity. There's a cosmetic box above the toilet, the framed mirror, and then again, I have to put up the globes and the light bulbs for this. But of course, the electric and the gas are not on yet because the house just arrived. Here's the furnace and the cover for the furnace is left on the ground on top of carpeting to protect it as it travels on the highway. There's all the items that the guys have to put up to complete the house, along with all the work that they're gonna be doing on the outside. So this is the second bedroom in the front of the house. It's got two windows. There's the closet, 
the doors are protected with both the plastic shrink wrap and this um, strapping to keep it from moving during travel. So if you're interested in this house, um, please go to our website, myhomeinedison.com and fill out the pre-qualifying questions. I've added a lot of tabs to our website now. There's a tab for the process, the touring, the lot fee, the financing. There's a lot of information there, so please avail yourself of all the information. Um, as soon as you fill out the pre-qualifying questions, then I'll be interacting with you through email, and eventually I'll be making a phone call. So enjoy the photos, and we look forward to hearing from you. Edison Mobile Estates is a manufactured home community. We are located in a fabulous location right on Highway 1, just a mile away from Metuchen, New Jersey, close to the train stations, great school systems, close to the parkway, close to Route 9, very close to 287. It's a really convenient location. It's one way in and one way out, so it's pretty secluded. 
it's private property, so we don't have any um, soliciting and people really enjoy the privacy, even though we're in a great hub close to the airport, the Newark airport, our office is in the front of the community. As you drive in, we meet everybody by appointment only. So if you want to meet us, fill out the 15 questions or email us if you're interested. This is US Highway 1 or Route 1 in Edison. Our family is the Dolan home, Dolan family. We are Dolan Homes. We've been building manufactured homes in our three communities for over 40 years. On our website, dolanhomes.com, you'll see Edison, Harbor Crossings, and Carteret Mobile Park. Those are the three parks that we manage. Robert Dolan is the managing member. This community has been in the Dolan family since 1974. Here's Robert Dolan. He holds all the licenses to build and manufacture um, and install the manufactured homes. As our nephew and our son, we are a small family business, husband, wife, nephew, son, and their little kids. We really pride ourselves on being four generations. And it's a joy when the little ones join us in the summertime. We have a fabulous crew with lots of experience. And it's um, all hands on deck when we're building one home at a time from our family to yours. We do all the um, utility connections, water, sewer, and electric, and the concrete foundation of all the houses. We have a lot of advantages to joining us. We are a land lease community, so the cost is very little because the actual homeowners do not pay the real estate. Edison Mobile Estates plays, pays the taxes and thereby makes it much easier for homeowners to purchase homes. The median income um, price of a home in Edison is over 400000 and our homes um, are from one forty eight. dollars um, and a little bit lower and a little bit higher. We're just so pleased to be part of the American dream of home ownership. Come join us, check out our website and email us or 15 or fill out the 15 questions and we'll get right back to you.